gotta rank them all Pokemon. Welcome to Gotta Rank Them All, the Pokemon ranking show, where Chris... That is me. ...and myself normally, every other week, get a guest and a random list of 10 Pokemon and put them in the most officially arbitrary list of all time. Our video listeners already know that this is not a normal week, and if you read the title of this episode, you would know that we are at the season finale of season one of Gotta Rank Them All. We had to get a bunch of friends together for this very special occasion where Chris and I are writing some wrongs uh, across the ranking of this list. We still have a handful of randoms to rank, uh, but mostly this is going to be Chris and I re-ranking things with the help of three lovely guests. You all know their voices. They've been on the show a bunch of times. Victorian Genetics. What up? Michael Moran. Hello. And Holden hints. Let's rank. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a wild episode, everybody. We got a lot of Pokemon to rank. We got a lot of opinions that are gonna get flung back and forth at each other. Uh also, this is a two-parter because we just couldn't contain all of this into one big episode. We wanted to break it up so it'd be a little bit easier for everyone to listen to, but it's still gonna be wild. I I mean, look at I didn't know Michael was bringing a pet Rayquaza. Uh I, didn't, sure. I wasn't I wasn't told. <laughs> uh so we got a lot of pokemon to rank and re-rank let's get started our first of the last four randoms we have we're gonna do two this episode and two next cloth mm. this is one of the first ones we saw from the new gen like in one of those early trailers true and you know what he's fine he's, i wish he evolved he's good by me yeah being a single stage is never is satisfying I could actually um, use more preamble. I think you're being too efficient with the episode already. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I like listening to you talk. But, but cloth, cloth is lame. Two thumbs down. I, I think cloth's fine. I actually used him for quite like a, like the first chunk of the game. He was my rock throw Pokemon, so I was I was down for some cloth. He's he's just fine. I don't really have any particular opinions. Yeah. So yeah, we have fine, three fine. he's fines, one he's pretty good, and one he sucks. He's, he's the worst yeah, crab, he's and the crabs are... Actually, I love Kingler, but the crabs are pretty low in general for me. Cabrawler is great. Cabrawler is the best crab. Oh, Cabrawler is sick, but... The best crustacean is the freaking hand cannon one, though, please. Mm. Uh, but know. Kingler's noise when he goes... Quickie, quickie, yeah, it's really good. true. It's like yeah. Kingler and then the, the other one, but not even a crab, technically. The lobster or whatever the heck it's supposed to be. Uh, uh yeah, Claw 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 Witzer? Witzer? Claw Witzer? Yeah. yeah, that's it. I couldn't remember the name. I the just pistol shrimp. The yeah. Like a, yeah. Uh, mantis shrimp. Um, yeah, I mean, this, I agree. It's not as cool as Klotzer. Um, but Klopp is still cool. You have like a Titan battle against him, right? Um, yeah. And so you get to see like a mega huge one, and you, and you kind of feel like, oh, he's a giant Pokemon, even though, you know, his real size is not that big, but still a cool little guy. I like him. Yeah, he's all right. How do we feel about a Krabby comparison? Because I, I would put cloth above Krabby. Like a little bit more design, a little yeah, bit more. I could do that. Know. Yeah, uh, uh, Krabby's yeah. at six fifty. Uh okay. man, I, I was looking in the quad digits. Come on. <laughs> I mean, Come Cat on. Caterpie at one 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 one. This is way worse than Caterpie, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Caterpie's just a dumb little caterpillar. This guy's got like Caterpie fur. tried so hard. He tried so hard. <laughs> And he did so well for Ash, and I love him. I guess this is why me and you have never been on a God Rank Mall episode together. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I came in consciously thinking I shouldn't talk because I looked I, like my episodes were so much longer, and I was <laughs> bad for this. But yeah, okay, I'll save my opinions for someone I care about more. Cloth can go wherever, but Krabby's great. Love you, Krabby. Uh, I'll, 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 Porygon Two is is suspiciously low at six nineteen. So w let's go between six nineteen and six fifty for me. Okay. All right. I'm not for that. Yeah, I don't um, really care where. Somewhere down there sounds solid enough, though. Mm, I, How about maybe the Ascarada, another Gen 9? Yeah, not not a great one, but I mean, I know a lot of people will defend Whoa. the Ascarada. Trubbish is 635. Come on, guys. Put them below oh, yeah. Trubbish. That's fine. That's Less fine. than trash. <laughs> got it, got it. We love uh, trash here. Just because you're trash doesn't mean you can't do great things. Hey, it's called a garbage can. Garbage. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. not a garbage cannot. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah. Uh, let's go below Trico. We'll just write underneath Trico above Hippopotas. Hippopotas. Thank you. I, I had to rank him <laughs> on one of my episodes too, and I struggled then, and I'll struggle now. I love Hippopotas. It's a weird one. All right, I like that spot. Yeah, 647 for Claw feels just right. Nail ne is another sh uh, shuckle person, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> the other shuckle person. So person. that's the, why the he other. loves Hippopotas, is because oh, that's yeah. like the most natural Pokemon to run with shuckle. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I that's just, uh, I, I won a, like a VG singles tournament with uh, uh, gotcha. Hippopotas as my only not fully evolved guy when there was a requirement to have one in a Sandstorm team. Oh, uh, gotcha. Big fan. Did you run shuckle? Any guesses? Where we get cloth. Mm. Uh, one with one of them's claw. Um, mm -hmm. he's, he's like he's all off a cliff. He's a crab with a cloth, <laughs> I think. Oh, wait, he literally on. just sits on a cliff. He literally I, just sits on the cliff and then he falls off. Can oh. I share a, a cloth thing while we're talking about cloths? I got this at Pokemon Nationals this weekend. It's like a little tea towel, Ooh. but it's so cute. Oh, that it's is from the Japanese awesome. Pokemon cool. Center. Okay. Sorry, That's cool. continue. Pokemon show and tell. Yeah. Uh, Claw and Cliff. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you were right. Yeah, you weren't far <laughs> off the cliff. Next up, we've got Squawkabilly. Mm, and those I are like Squawkabilly. He's just kind of like there and not even present, yeah. really. I, mean, I like him. I was kind of disappointed that there wasn't more to it, though. Uh, aren't they the taxi service? Yeah. But it's just like it's just like a throwaway thing. Most of the game has plenty of stuff that's just kind of throwaway things because development was not very clean on the game. But I don't know. I like him, but I tend to like the bird Pokemon as a whole quite a bit. So I was in four different colors. Yeah, that's kind of oh, cool. Yeah. I, I, I like his hair too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I mean, that's the, the squawk ability kind of rock ability, right? And that's kind of the rock ability hair. So. I think that's yeah. what they're going for, yeah. Mm -hmm. Way cooler than cloth. It's okay, true. I, I am. Uh, I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Agree. Uh, Ross Cawthorn. Chad on the thing. There's That's a the best comparison. Uh, unfortunately, Chad Ott's quite low. Ugh. I like Chad Ott too. But... Yeah, that's that's uh, yeah. That Chad Ott's very. Low, I like so Chad Ott a lot. Higher than that. Let's. How about the the guests let's... get to move Chad Ott up? <laughs> yeah, let's move Chad Ott up. Just move up a couple pages. Are you uh, kidding me? You didn't like get it on the DS and like recording "fuck you" on your chat. Yeah, and I didn't like people? that. I, I don't have to go back and listen to the episode because I don't know how I ended up that low. I feel like I probably liked them and everybody else hated them. I don't know. Aww. I yeah, think the main thing with knows. I think the main thing with Chat Out and it's kind of the same with Squawkabilly and honestly, plenty of the birds is just like there's other better options if you're doing battling basically oh yeah like, no, he's he's worthless so if you're i not, always like, tried to make used. like chat out and stuff work just because i like them so much but same with squawk ability i would like to make him work but it's just it's difficult especially ever since stealth rocks became a thing but on the TCG side, very viable. Got played uh, this weekend at the North American International Championship by oh, really the most creative, I think, death deck builder in the history of the game. Ross Cawthorn was the only person in the room of thousands of people playing Darkrai and had a Squawkabilly EX that was very vital. Whoa, that's that cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Sounds like three hundreds range. I like that. What other birds we got in there? Uh, I think I like it more than Sunkern. That's three sixty-seven. Oh, okay. there's some good ones. I've, I'm feeling low three hundreds though. We got some all timers here. Uh, yeah, Faffy's cool. Kingdra's cool. Shedinja, Alakazam. Uh, oh my gosh. Alakazam is a little bitch. Noted on my episode. Oh, uh, <laughs> Sylvia. Spoons. Spoons are cool. They help you eat ice cream. <laughs> Oh, back we're Kingler's oh, here. Kingler, three nine two. Yeah. I could put him right yeah. below Kingler. No, oh, he's gotta go above Kingler. Bro, come I think, on. I think above Kingler is. I mean, I, I agree one. with that, but yeah, I, I think I like Kilowattril more. I think this is a more interesting design, so I'm okay if this goes above. But I personally like Kilowattril more. I would agree. Mm. Mm. Kilowattril, uh, actually, I'm not that much of a fan of just because of the fact that it's only a fucking double. 
<laughs> I caught the second evolution. And I was like, oh, this is going to be the fucking coolest thing ever when it goes into the final. And then it, it nope, there's no final. But yeah, I can go with below that. It's fine. Uh, all right. Mega Tarantar. I feel like underneath that guy, too, then, because just in, in between Mega Tarantar and Rhydon feels like a fitting spot. There okay. you Between a rock and a hard place. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Kingler. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was good, Chris. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Squagabilly, a new 390. <clears throat> Maybe already guessed, but where do we get Squawkabilly from? Well, he just said it earlier. Um, <laughs> Rockabilly and Squawk. When, when Tony was um, <laughs> naming his all of his nephews and nieces, one of them he named Billy. And naturally, he was just a, like a squawking little baby. And he's like, hey, you know, I'm going to make a Pokemon after you squawking Billy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Squawk, Rockabilly. They throw Bill in there as well. I don't. It's not necessary. <laughs> you don't need to yeah, try It's one of those hard. names where it just takes so many, different out, so many different levels. Big fan of his PC. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right. Now we get to some personal re-ranks. First up, choice from me, Groudon. Groudon. Reminder, we do not have Primal Groudon as a separate entry, so this counts both. Right. Uh, Primal as well. Primal Which is sick. why I think, listen, I'm not I'm not here to argue for Groudon top 100. Sure. All right. I'm a fan of Groudon. I realize I'm a little bit stronger of a fan than a lot of people. This isn't everyone's favorite legendary. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But I, I think this we can get this into the, the 300 somewhere. I think we can break the 400 mark with Groudon. Yeah, no doubt. Why, yeah. where is Groudon at? 466, uh, which feels just uh, a little bit low for me. Agreed, agreed. Um, I, was, I was looking as high as, I don't want to go any higher than Ho-Oh at 172. So okay. I, I was I feel like that's my hard, hard cap. So, you know, you got like Fat Pikachu 1213. I think Groudon's very iconic. He's the face of Ruby, which is a very important game for a lot of people. He's and, the freaking uh, voice. He's the freaking face of VGC for like so many years too, basically. Yeah. yeah. And he's just a badass, and he's also the, like the heaviest one, like like just thick, thick boy, mass, mm-hmm. huge, massive guy. He's just uh, cool, cool spikes. Cool. Sometimes cool spikes. the spike ones aren't as cool as Groudon, and these are cool spikes. True. Some yeah. restraint shown in a still very aggressive amount of spikes. I like the design. Not as cool as Rayquaza, though. Fair. Right. That's fair. Rayquaza. I mean, Rayquaza is very high. Yeah. Um, but Jigglypuff's at 242. I feel like that's right around this is a really good spot for him. P- like Pichu, Jigglypuff, like that area for me, this feels good because I feel like those are kind of iconic mons. A little bit below Eternatus, that feels right. Oh, I feel like Nidoking has the same posture, still has spikes, and I think Nidoking's cooler, but they're kind of in different classes, I guess. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like. I think I like Groudon more than Nitto King. I'm okay with going above. I like him more than Duraludon at 286, but I like it less than Two Cannon at 267. You're a bird guy. Bird yeah, guy. the bird Pokemon nerd. Nice. Some of my yeah. favorites generally. Bird Keeper. Or Orbeetle. That, but that's not Mega Orbeetle, right? Or, or yeah, that's just a Mega Orbeetle. Gigamax okay, because yeah. the Gigamax version is very superior. Yeah, uh, Aegis Slash at two sixty two. Ryan, I know that's another one of your favorites. Oh, I do see yeah. that call out, but I I think top quarter, which is roughly two sixty two, uh, is solid for Aegis Slash. I don't I don't know that I I'd be hurt if Aegis Slash drops you know a spot or two here as we re rank a few things. I I think Aegis Slash is in a good spot. Um, but I'm also like this is I. Anywhere in this area, I'm happy with for Groudon. Like I said, I, I wanted to at least get him into the 300s. Getting him into the 200s feels great. So I'm I'm happy somewhere in this range. This isn't none of this is going to hurt my feelings. I mean, yeah, I would definitely put him below Upstagoon, Mega Gallade, Sinisty, Two Cannon. So I'm definitely like below 267 personally. Mm. That, that whole chunk has a whole bunch. Age of yeah. Slash is pretty cool too. Hariyama because we. I'd keep him below Sinistee as well, so I'm okay going below two cannon. Unless somebody's mm. gonna argue higher. I'm not. Gladius and Gladius keep getting bumped down. True. That's true. 
uh Veluza is not one that I'm very hot on. So I would be happy to put that's 256. So I'm happy to like put it above that area. I'm just a you know, I'm just like 10 higher, probably underneath Berserker than if we're talking about just like the overall like what they mean to me in, in like theme because Groudon just Groudon's just tight. There's no like specific thing he reminds me of. It's just like right. a cool, unique design, looks like a badass. Yeah. You know, whereas like when you start getting into Berserker and Frost House, like those are like cool like actual origins and more more a little bit more creative. Uh, mm -hmm. as the games went on a little bit longer so i mean that's why i'm a little bit higher but if you guys want to go down below two cannon i'm not i'm not gonna lose sleep on it or below yeah. dratini somewhere yeah oh two cannon's fine i think he's cooler than zacian yeah i think he's cooler okay, yeah. than zacian and reggie drago for sure okay I think now I'm my awesome. little pony i don't know if he's cooler Whoa. than that but... yeah that's facts. <laughs> big facts. oh litton too it's fine it's an arbitrary yeah. list the most officially arbitrary. <laughs> I don't know. We, we can't sit on that. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to lose a lot of battles out here. Okay. <laughs> well, that's great. That's like 200 spots up for Groudon. Very happy with that. Uh, Chris. Did you erase the original? Yes. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Who's your pick, Chris? <laughs> uh, my first pick. Oh, there's Primal Groudon. It's Cartana. Okay. Oh, yeah. Listen. Not going to argue for Cortana top 100, top 200 even, probably not. But he's way too low right now if I was 97. I think this is the best Ultra Beast. I think mm -hmm. it should be higher than all the other Ultra Beasts, at least. Mm -hmm. I think I like the freaking Anorexic Queen Bee thing a little bit more. Paramosa? <laughs> yeah, that one. Because she's hot? I, maybe. <laughs> it's just because it looks more like a Pokemon design to me. The, the Ultra Beasts in particular, I just don't like their design very much. They're just so, like, obscure and out there. It's like they just went to somebody and was like, can you make some Pokemon for us? Random commission artist. It's like, okay, sure. Like, But I'll, that being said, the new gen has plenty of Pokemon that look like they're just Digimon ripoffs. <laughs> so... It's like clearly they're they're trying things because they're at one thousand Pokemon at this point. Yes, it's a thousand Pokemon later, and they're still coming up with creative ass designs like Origami Samurai, and it's so yeah. damn cool. And it's this tiny little guy. Just imagine this guy coming out and like using like a, a badass like sword steel type move, and just sweeping people with your like two inch Pokemon or tiny. I know, it's fun. Yeah. I so, love Cartana. Like, Thank you, thank you. I think it's the best Ultra Beast as well. Yes, oh, and, yes. and Cartana goes I'm hard in OU as well. Like he's been very good. You have a Swords Dance um, uh, kind of setup on him, and he just goes absolutely hard in the paint. He had a fun GX card whose attack GX deck was just take a prize card, which is one sixth of a victory condition in the Pokemon trading card game. And that's just a fun little weird move. Yeah, like okay. he's more cohesive than most of the Ultra Beasts as far as the design goes for me. Like the main ones I like are the ones that look cohesive, like a little more like an entity. So, but I didn't deal with them too much as a whole. I just kind of know when when they show up in like VGC and stuff like that. So, okay. Well, so, recently we 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 moved Guzzlord up to one twenty seven, right? That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, Guzzlord is sick. I would love to see these two hang out. A little boy and a okay. big big guy. Just like, I don't know. I feel like they'd be friends. I'm down to put mm -hmm. Cartana as a new 127. Well, you know we have, and then we have Necrozama. Isn't that another one? No, is that Necrozma. A Necrozma. Oh, how, yeah. yeah, that's worse than both these. Pidgeot? Okay, I gotta, I gotta restrain myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Necrozma is at 124. Jeez. Oh my gosh! I'm just saying, if we're saying this is the best Ultra Beast, we should put it as the, the highest. One. We should put it the highest for all is, the Ultra Beasts. Is Necrozma an Ultra Beast? It? Yes, it is. It's just listed as a legendary Pokemon, not a UB. Whoa, 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 whoa! The card. I mean, when I went to Ultra, Ultra Space, Beast. Ultra Wormhole. I mean, uh, yeah, but it's this is like the Bulbapedia for Ultra Beast. He's not on here. Yeah, it's Damn. like like Bulbapedia lists this as a do not under the Ultra Beast. Whoa, uh, yeah, it says Cosmog, Solgaleo, Lunala are not Ultra Beast, but I'm pretty sure the card had it classified as an Ultra Beast. That's fine. That's why I was so confident. Yeah, we could put it underneath there then if it's not under Ultra Beast. I'm fine with that. Okay, right. I'm I'm that down for one twenty seven. Yeah, that's Maybe fine by it's... me. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it was way higher than I was expecting to get Cartana. Thank you, yo. 
I got you. Very noisy. Cartana's sick. Like you just look at it and you're like, that thing's cool as hell, right? Yeah. I feel like yeah, and it's somehow a little cute too. Sacred sword. That's the, yeah, that's the move I was thinking of. Way too many options for the name origin here. <laughs> it's not as I mean, easy as Katana. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's one of like six. Mm, he could probably like fold himself into a car, so that's where that comes from. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, with a K. I mean, I was yep. just thinking cart or not cart, card. So yep. cart. Yep. Katana uh, and card. He, uh, he fought in Charta. more combat. That's why it's a K. <laughs> uh, Charta, which is Latin for paper, which I'm probably mispronouncing, may also involve Kurtana, a British ceremonial sword used at coronations. Or and uh, Kartana, Sanskrit for cutting. Mm. They they really went all out here. <laughs> there is a lot uh, of possibilities on that for sure. It, the uh, I redact me saying that he's one inch tall. He's actually one foot tall, so he's actually gonna be like like a whole ruler stick of paper, which is you know that's yep. sizable. That's 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 a, like if you're doing origami, that's like a foot long. Like that's pretty big origami. Yeah, he's true sized. All right, my next pick is Snivy. Grass starters has not have not gotten a lot of love on this podcast. I adore Snivy. I uh, again, I don't think we're going to get this crazy high, but at 492, it hurts me a little bit. I would I would like to see this thing move up like maybe 50, 100 spots, uh, maybe maybe a little bit more, roughly somewhere in that area. I just I, I love this thing, and I would be hurt if I didn't try to fight for it. It's it's the only grass starter I go for hardcore every single time I start a Gen Five run, it's, or any generate. It's like the, it's the only grass starter I go for. Uh, is it i mean is it the best grass starter for you like your favorite one for me yeah i i would say so yeah i i i, I understand it's I and mean, it's maybe not even my favorite design wise because it is a little straightforward but i'm a person i love snakes i have a pet snake this is a snake grass uh a, you know grass snake little pokemon it's very fast it hits hard it's great for a run through the game uh i i just i adore it mm. yeah do we have any grass cider starters that are higher than Snivy? Because I can already see Bulbasaur, Chikorita, and Chespin, which were below oh, it. Oh, whoa. I was going to be like, I love Snivy, but I love those ones more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, listen, they, Mike, you and I, this is the one grass starter we got going. <laughs> if you like Snivy, no other grass this is our chance to get a grass starter higher up. <laughs> Where did Sprigatito land? Oh, yeah. I think Sprigatito is actually kind of high because uh, Brian brought it on, huh? Oh, yeah, Brian did. I have 144. 144. Goodness. Oh. Uh, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on a limb here and say Snivy is my second least favorite grass starter. So I'm, uh, I'm out on this one. I feel like that's that's already higher than I would have put him so at. So he's, he's your eighth favorite then? He would be I my love, eighth favorite. I love the angle here that there is so much inherent risk to you guys bringing pokemon because with a panel like this the weight of you bringing it is far less so it could actually go down if you bring it up again so it's a probably a good thing that you didn't bring shuckle again chris yeah <laughs> that's that's what he was saying I, I, that's, that's what i hinted at earlier that uh, ryan should have brought it so we could lower it but i think they don't want to lower anything i think we're just bringing yeah. pokemon up yeah, uh, we, yeah we were on agreement at the very least that we were not going to bring anything to trash it further down the list yeah, that's kind of you. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I don't know. I I like Snivy, okay, but I don't like him more than like Rico, who you know we were talked about is quite Trico. a bit lower. Rowlet, Rowlet is a real one. God, Trico's Rowlet. maybe my second least favorite grass starter. I can't stand that design. I hate what it evolves into. I hate that Pokemon. <laughs> for me, yeah, so right. cool. I think Chespin and Grookey are lowest for me. Yeah, Chespin's the worst for sure. Yeah. Well, this guy was right above him, so perfect for yeah. you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Chespin's four ninety four, and that's probably like three hundred too high for me. So. Oh, Rallet's one fifty three at least. Yeah, Rallet's quite yeah. High. Rallet's reasonable, and Spigatito's reasonable. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna say Snivy should go any higher. I feel like middle list is probably fine for him. I mean, yeah. I I could give him some spots. Um, I don't dislike him. He's just not like I don't know. He doesn't stand out to me. I like his. He's evolution. cooler than Chestnut. 
Wait, where did Snivy start? Sorry, can yeah, you 494. Yeah, 494. 494. Okay. Chestnut's at 317. That's quite a jump, though. Oof. Yeah, I mean... Oh. Yeah, even that's maybe... So, not, so, not having, like, dual blades. Dual blades at 453. Oh. I would say put him at 306. 306? No, not 306. <laughs> Just three three oh seven. Put him next to Santa Conda and Arbok. <laughs> uh, because all so all the snakes can hang the snakes. out. Mm. <laughs> but I don't know really. I, like he, I like him well enough. He's better than like Grookey and what about that? remember Espen? Espen, yeah. Okay, so we're talking snakes. He is far less cool than Onyx and Steelix at four oh eight and four oh nine. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Not as cool as Swampert. Most of the other snakes that I could think of off the top of my head are already in like the bottom and nine hundred or something. So I gotta say, my the low end for me is Turtwig. I gotta put this at least above Turtwig at four thirty three. Like that. I like I like Turtwig a lot. I just Turtwig's don't way like better. Torterra, I'm kind of like indifferent on. I don't Turtwig's really care for Torterra, uh, but Turtwig's. I mean, I'm willing to give a small win to Ryan here and say above Grovile because he already said he hated that line. So, like, <laughs> Quagsire, 447, maybe, like, underneath that. Small win. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, 50 spots. Yeah, that's about what I wanted. I'll live with okay. it. i put it above Quagsire, personally. Give you uh, one more. I'm okay with it. I'd even go so far as to say it could be below Porygon Z. <laughs> Ooh, Starmie is really cool though. Thank you. Starmie is I, a I badass. Guess and, okay. I, and, yeah. and I fought like I got Starmie like 500 spots off the list last time I was on the show. So <laughs> that's um, you're doing God's work. Thank you. No yeah, one I still else hate Starmie, to. but I'll, I'll take okay, it. Okay, then. Star Starmie, Star you. More great cries. They just sound amazing. Snivy, a new 447. I love you, buddy. Even if no one else does. <laughs> you and me. At the end well, of the we world. gotta think. Grand scheme. I, I love like Snivy too. There's Snivy, still a lot of Pokemon. But a lot of the grass starters come into the same problem where it's like by the time they're at their final evolution, I'm not really caring as much about them. So I, I think Snivy just gets a little bit better for me every stage. I, oh, I really? like, yes, Servine's fine as a middle stage and Superior I adore. I, I love oh, the design God, yeah. of Superior. Yeah. I'm mean, like I... Superior as far as the whole contrary nonsense spam and Holden's lead thing, storm and just like yeah. Crazy. <laughs> but, I don't know. For me, it was like a little boring. Hey, did Grass Loki have the best evolution line in the t last two games? No, it was Fire. <sighs> okay. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of even what they were. Honestly, I just kind of checked out for them. the Monkey Drummer and the Cat Burglar, uh, the Zoro Cat, Fly uh, Coco, bro. Huh? Yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, they are really good ones, though. So, all right, all right. Snivy's all set. Chris, okay. so here's the name of the next Pokemon. It's not great, guys. It's still gonna be second, bottom half of the list. But right now, it's in the thousands, and I think that's a little low for Drizzile. You're right. I think I was on that episode, and I was a uh, I was upset with like Voltorb this... or some things being too low, and so I I sacrificed him to bump up some of the hated Pokemon that I like. <laughs> You're fighting for Drizzile? I didn't even, I didn't, I looked at the list, but I didn't realize this was Drizzile. I can't believe you're fighting for this Pokemon. This is like one what? of the worst designs. Like even one boy. of the worst? I oh, cannot believe one? you're fighting Wait, for Drizzile. Wait, what Pokemon is it? Drizzile? Drizzile. Yeah, yeah. Take, a, take a look at the, uh, the stream. It, oh, oh that, what the fuck? The Steve <laughs> oh, dude. Boy he's he's, boy he's eight. He's eight. Uh, he's not honestly, a thousand. A bullet trash. point. For in your favor, Chris, since we ranked him, this Pokemon ruled the TCG metagame. It had an ability called Shady Dealings that added consistency to every deck. And a cool name. I want to deal things shadily. So <laughs> he got he put some good innings in for a lot of decks. That that is a very cool card. I'm just I'm just afraid that like half the Pokemon have probably been viable at one point or another in the TCG, and it's like, oh sick card art looks great, but like officially like Drizzile just like I feel like made Sobble just a worse line like Sobble could have been so much more and then it did, instead of going from like I, I don't know Sobble obviously was a little shy and that's kind of what they're going for in the theme but as it just got older like emo phase and then got like cool super agent phase I just I wish it would have just expanded more into like a 
like a predator or something like like a night stalker because huh. it, it had like invisibility in its introduction and like camouflage but it just disposed all of that and just went really terribly for me and so he really screwed over the, the saba line in my eyes well okay hold in thought experiment if you had to fill the venn diagram between secret agent and sad baby is not the exact middle of that the fulcrum point emo, emo angst yeah, emo yeah, boys. Probably. That's like the exact middle. Um, I think you can make the argument for sure. <laughs> you, the argument is there. I, I'm not yeah. saying it's not a good middle just, point. I'm just <laughs> saying it's a terrible evolution of where Sabo could have went, and it's really disappointing and really just a terrible design. <laughs> like, look at those okay, damn buddy. hands. He's got little oven mitts on his hands, and I hate him. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, hey, representation me. matters. <laughs> all the mitten, mitten hand people out <laughs> there, probably. <laughs> all my this mitten folks, where you at? This is better than Lombre, though, right? Like, Lombre's an abysmal design. Worst. Oh. I hate Lombre. <sighs> Come on, bro. You're Lombre kidding. is kind of cool. cool. Dude, Lombre is pretty tight, bro. Lombre, Lombre can get it. Oh. Lombre can get it. <laughs> That's a different podcast, Mike. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. That's your next podcast, honestly. It's got to sex them all. <laughs> I just I like the colors of Lombre so much more. The colors of Drizzile don't do anything to help him. They're not oh, even part of the final evolution either, right? Does he have like Does he have purple in his hair? Is that is that is his fin purple and crown dentelion? I don't recall. Oh yeah, I know. He just has like the he, greenish he drops, look of the right. He drops like the purple entirely. Just just don't put him b- above Voltorb. At 1044. <laughs> Voltorb is just being, I don't know, it's terrible crimes we've done to that poor little ball. I mean, it is just a Pokeball. It's so much cooler. <laughs> it's a it's a bullseye. It's just a home it's run just... knocked out of the park. Angry eyes are, are 10 out of 10. Simple. It's It shows restraint. Does it? <laughs> yes. Or like lack of creativity. Calculated restraint. Calculated hmm. restraint. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, it's, it's better. It is. It is better. You than know, the Voltorb, best part is when he evolves and they just switched the colors and then made the eyes two little slits. Yes, that that's I think a worse design, but still cool. I think this is worse than oh, Muck and Cloister. I would put it at one fifty six personally below those two. Those are all timers for me. Yeah, I mean, it, it, he definitely just out belongs above the atrocities known to man. Um, Namely, <laughs> Bruxish, like, like which he's a, he's above Bruxish, right? So, um, how did Bruxish is, get so high? That's a, that was a good question too. Bruxish's mistakes really, were made, yeah. <laughs> way too, way too high. Oh, I forget. What is does Glalie like? What's the thing? Is it like I know Cloister and is Glalie like a butthole or something? what's wrong with Glalie? <laughs> what's yeah? What's the war reason Glalie's terrible? Uh, Isn't this, it's, it's the I mean, skin, right? Am I thinking of the right? Oh yeah, you guys have that, like the phobia of holes. Okay, yeah, the top. I think. Glenn I mean, sick. for me, it's just that frost lass is way fucking cooler. That's true. <laughs> frost lass rules. But looking down here, why is for me anyway? I like Galisopod. I don't know why he's so low. Kind of ugly. I think he's uh, one of the better bug Pokemon personally. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. He's a little Digimon, but I love him. Yeah, he's he a little bit money for sure. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Okay. Uh, this guy's got to go above Conkeldur. Just... Like that's disgusting. Conk- yeah, Conk- yeah. Yeah. Above Conkeldur for sure. I'll, I'll give you that much. Yeah. But the Sigalip is, is is tight. I like Sigalip in a, in a movie. Yeah. And I'm just gonna say Dunsparce and Stunfisk are awesome. They probably give great hugs. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All we're establishing here is that Nail definitely has some feelings to get resolved in regards to Pokemon. He said Lombre can get it and that he wants to hug <laughs> Yeah. I feel like Stunfisk needs the hug just as much as I do. I know. Um, he looks a little uh, sad boy. So, <laughs> Not a wannabe sad boy, though, like Drizzile. Um, yeah. We, I, so we can put it above the clown face murderer that is Magmortar. I'm fine with that. Speaking of clowns, props to you guys for putting Blacephalon so high. I figured that would have been dunked on. I do remember that conversation, but yeah, I'm happy where he ended up. Which one? Blacephalon, the clown, the fire clown, Ultra Beast. Oh, gotcha. It's pretty high. 
Uh, but yeah, I could go 1057 as high as I'd go for Drizzile. Sounds fine. Yeah, it sounds me. like we're doing 1068, which I'm okay with. That's fine. Cool. I would have liked to see him out of the thousands, but that's clearly not happening. So yep. I'll just go for it. I grab. respect you bringing him I back. I think of first. all the middle child syndrome starter things, he's like one of the worst person. I, I, don't, I disagree. It was way it was, worse uh, Oh, yeah. It, 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 it's funny because like Chris was like had a lot of confidence. He's like, yeah, you know, he's he's really he's done dirty down a thousand. Let's go to like six hundred range. <laughs> Let's bring this guy up to the list. <laughs> and uh, sorry to crush yeah, you. Yeah, you should be with the other middle evolutions who are I'm, all it, terrible, but they're in like the seven hundred, six hundred. I would. I mean, you would have had Voltorb higher. I'd have had your back. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I would say Combuskin is worse as far as middle syndrome goes, but yeah, he. Combuskin's 411, so his argument stands, honestly. Bro, what about you, Florigato? You can... I think Middlemons came back with Florigato. I think that's the new Charmeleon, and I love Charmeleon. Yeah. Oh, Raboot. I like Raboot, too. Raboot was tight. Oh, Raboot's cool. Florigato is really cool. <sighs> Didn't do it for me. Uh, Well, Drizzile, you got where we could get you. What was it, 1068? I already scrolled away. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, 1068. Yep. You're wrong. It was actually like 960. <laughs> move it up another 100. Uh, <laughs> next pick for me. Again, this one's not a big move, but this is, a, per, for personally, this is a big injustice on the list that this Pokemon is below another Pokemon. We need to get Rockruff at least above Guccienna. It is ridiculous. <laughs> mm, <okay. laughs> Let's go. That is the case. Uh, Puchiana I mean, is at 335. I mean, yeah, I like Puchiana quite a bit, but I would say Rock Rough's definitely better. Mm -hmm. And I mean, listen, I would love to bring it even higher, but bare minimum, we got to be above Puchiana, which it was not. So, hmm, okay, okay. Um, uh, scrolling up the list, I th I think I like. I think I like Slowpoke a little bit better, just as far as like overall, like universal adaptability. And Slowpoke's 293. Mm -hmm. So that's probably around the range I'm looking. You know, Drachi's at like 300. So just because Rockruff is cool and I do like him, he's a good little boy, but yeah. he is a little bland in design, notably. Ooh. And he's still a little boy. He is. I think for Sylveon. I like him more than Litten. Mm -hmm. And that's 276. Okay. I mean, if you want to go above Litten, that's fine, but they're about the same to me. I like Litten more. I think I like Sylveon more. Sylveon's a 311. Oh, yep, I'm with you there. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Latios and Latias are still up there, too. I could go <laughs> below Sylveon. Yeah, Sylveon's... I, I mean, I don't really care for Sylveon. I think it's a fine, you know, e evolution. Um, I don't really have any real... I've used it before. It's, like, it's pretty powerful, and especially in, like, Yu Yu. But uh, I, nothing, nothing really special about it. I mean, like, below or above, I don't care. I like Delibird, but... I also like Deli Bird. Ooh, and I, I love B drill. Bird. Let's go below B drill on Deli Bird. <laughs> Let's go below B drill above Deli Bird. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Ooh, sorry, Let's Scrooge. Go below Sylveon above Rookity, to be honest. Mm, okay, I'm okay with He's that. not even part of this conversation. Get him out of here. Bird boy. <laughs> That's where I would put it. Like, why do you guys hate Christmas? Boy. Enjoy. Yeah. It's true. These people got cold. You know Deli Bird doesn't like bring Christmas you anything nice. Deli Bird brings you attacks. All right, I don't want to be attacked for Christmas. It's a terror. <laughs> so fuck Delibird. Some people are into that. Um, Delibird's tight. It's it, isn't there like a Pokemon Stadium Two mini game where Delibird you have to like pick up like presents and conveyor belt and jump off. And yeah. I love that mini game. So that's like half of my love for Gen One and Two Pokemon are just like were they featured in a Pokemon Stadium mini game? <laughs> there. Okay, I, th I think we have th we have three votes for below Delibird. So I think we're going below Delibird. Hell yeah. I'll accept it. <laughs> you know what? We got above Puchiena, which was the most important part of me bringing Rockruff back because <laughs> that was a serious injustice on this list. That's a good that pick. Bothering me. Uh, Chris, who's your next pick? Hold on, I'm making sure I deleted the other Rockruff. Okay. Oh, that's right. My next pick, Gudra. Please, Let's for the love go. of God, such oh. injustice. Such injustice. True. True. Ryan, he, he, don't you talk about the slimy hugs. Nobody wants Fucking to hear it. Gross. It's gross. <laughs> Gudra is at 847. Gudra's oh so good. Oh my gosh. Gudra's so good. 
I mean, it's in his name. For me, I can probably go with it being at 847. Shut your mouth. Yeah, I don't know. 847 feels pretty right. My argument is just like the dragon typing has so many like iconic Pokemon. I would never be like, oh, my dragon on my team is going to be Gudra. Like, there's no way I would ever. I mean, I like the design. It's fine. It's just if I compare it to the other dragons, it's not. The only reason that I lean more towards it is because Ash had it. Like, there That's my main reason that I like it. Number more. one. <laughs> uh, but it is a dragon, so you can make an argument to put it in at least the top half of the list in my book, honestly, because that's one of the better typing. Yeah, it's just straight up dragon type. Um, I, I love that it reminds me of Dragon Tales. Just kind of has that like, fun, oh, yeah. like cartoony like, type design. Whereas like most dragons are like, gotta be a badass, giant, spiky, yeah. pointy edges dragon. This one's more like, hey... This is my thing. Like, I'm a little gross. I'm a little weirdo. But we appreciate the freaks on Gutter and Gamon. That's why I think this freak needs to get bumped up. I love a dang ass freak. I don't know if this mm-hmm. is one of them though. <laughs> like I, I love goo. I just, I'm a, I'm a goo guy. I love goo. goo I, love an guy. Ooze. I love a good ooze. Me too. But this guy doesn't do much for me. Kick the Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. Sh- yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a goop guy. I mean, um, it's cooler than Illumise, but I don't think it's cooler it, than Octillery. Illumise. Another Gooper. Another Gooper. Illumise. Octillery is 821. Um, c- hey, bro, come on. We got to get this. Rabbit. We got to get this into like the 600 at least. Like, no, P- you can't go above Pidgey. It has to go above Pidgey. Pidgey is a, above a Pidgey. weakling little baby bird that you can just step on, bro. Gujra's a badass. Like, Gujra rocked the UU. Like, he was so good with choice band. You just run outrage, you run earthquake, and he hits hard. He's got like a hundred ten base special attack. And I'd run attack. away from his gooey hug. Okay, no, no, hugs, no. Bro. Yes, stop, stop. It's bro. Bronzong, you think this is yeah. better than Tornadus yes. and Bronzong? Yes, yeah, Tornadus is terrible. I mean, Gudra is cooler than Rampardo, so like I said, I could go up to six eighty five. Okay, Whimsicott. okay. We're is it seven five three? Whimsicott. Come on. Yeah, and Whimsicott sucks, bro. Let's get, let's go like Cherim. Cherim six four eight two. Cherim sucks. Let's go above Cherim. Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan's got made better with his mega form. Who like, are you gonna trust with your children more? This thing or Kangaskhan? I this think this thing. guy's going for that. He's going for like a Barney. Vibe. Not he wants to hang out with your kids. That's a fair that's a very <laughs> fair point. If you compare Kangaskhan to this, which one's more likely to be the right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. This has got big Barney energy from Gudra. And he's gonna goo your tails full of drugs. <laughs> Jesus. It's like 600. you want some goo kids. Like okay, because like muck, I I want muck's goop more than I want this guy's goop. And muck's what? like way down to thousands. You don't how want how do you want muck's goop? It's literally toxic, toxic sludge. Bro. Do you know yeah. what? Yeah, he's but he hugs so Ash and Ash is the, fine. He's talking so much about the goo and being bad for the kids. He's reminding me of the, the first Power Rangers movie, the guy that was oh, the ooze. The ooze, the legend of the ooze. I yeah. love ooze. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if he was more oozy and less goopy. Like if it was purple goop, maybe I'd like Gudra more. Okay. Bro, okay. we got Elekid at 671. We gotta go above Elekid. Coughing. Another polluter. 717. <laughs> Weezing? This is way worse than Wheezing. Nah. Way worse. No. Right, Ryan? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I gotta go oh, for wheezing or coughing over this thing. Hold on, personally. hold on. I, I heard I heard genetics <sighs> agreeing with us that it should be above Rampardos at least. So yeah, I can we continue from there. Because there's three of us at least that want it higher than Rampardos. <laughs> that is the democratic process, which That's is true. the problem with our country. That's but true. Really that really is the problem that with our true. list as well. <laughs> Oh, um, okay, that's wait. the next podcast. Got to rank them all. Politics edition. Yeah. <laughs> Can someone Google what Donald Trump thinks about this Pokemon so that way I know what I think about this Pokemon? I'll just type it out into an AI voice filter and try to get him. <laughs> okay. I love Gudra. Uh, genetics Gudra in this country. I want to remind you. Is this you where Ivermectin come from? The last Sorry. Pokemon that I'm bringing on for this for this first of the season finale episodes. I brought that for you, man. Wow. I know. Yes, That's part is. of my argument. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if this is beating out some of the other dragons I like a little bit more, but I like it more than Rampart. Okay, what so if we put it above Cherim at 642? That would be fair to me, too, even though I do I, like Cherim a fair bit. Yeah, above the Alga. Star you? Come on, Holden. You don't want to put this guy above Star you. Star me, Defender. Just come above. 
Jirachi. It is better. Whoa. Than easy. Above Jirachi? Oh, okay, okay. No, okay. no, 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 no. Hard no. ass. Crobat! <laughs> Oh, Crobat's coming back. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Mike, no, you and me, buddy. You and me, buddy. Don't worry. Oh, my God. Joltik. Crobat's way too low. We all agree on that. Yeah. God. Okay, we're moving Gudra to 642 then. Let's go. Wait, wait. What about above Rampardos by one? <laughs> we we oh decided above Cherim by one. Bye. Uh, Vileplume. Oh, okay. <laughs> sucks. What is this podcast becoming? <laughs> that's why there's five of us all right and you wanted four yeah. so there had to be five actually i'm happy i feel like tapu lele and gudra loki have similar energy and i would i don't know oh, it's fair they, they like both could be children's mascots on a tv show and mm -hmm. i like tapu mm -hmm. lele more i'm fine sure. with this thank you coming to your senses i just love you guys so i want you to be happy that's really i'm your empathy is or my, my empathy is really what it's making me come down here. Fair. Understandable. All right. All right. Let's move on to your next one, Ryan. Next up, I've got to re -ray. If you've listened to the show, you saw this one coming. Uh, we all understand how much I love this Pokemon and how wronged it has been at its current rank. Swampert needs to be moved up. It is ridiculous that that thing is sitting in the 400s. I want to go back to something Isn't real it? quick, even though you're going to bring it up later. Why the fuck is Golbat higher than Crobat? Listen, <laughs> that was, yeah, that's because Crobat great got great ranked question. first. He got All ranked too senator. low, and we put Golbat higher to try and make up for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, how I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as somebody's bringing that back, because it yeah. definitely is better than at least his pre evolution. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, Crobat's oh, yeah. fine. I don't no, know why no. I hated it on the episode. Right? So Swampert's at 444 right now, but Mega Swampert is at 77. And we can all agree Mega Swampert's better. So that's our range, I feel like. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I don't I don't yeah, I don't think this even gets quite that close to Mega Swampert. Does I don't even think I don't think this is quite top one hundred as much as I love Swampert. Oh. No, oh, I would, drain I, the I, swamp. I drain the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> um I think okay, it's better Trump. than I think it's better than Slack. We have too many Trump references in this episode. We haven't even, <laughs> we haven't even got to the bottom of his list yet to actually talk about Trump. Holden, where were you on January 6th? <laughs> oh, my God. Good ass question. Ask question. Um, I, I, slacking is at 199, and I feel like they have similar energies from the Gen 3. Um, but I like. I think Swampert is a little bit more attuned and alert. That's why I would put him above that. That's where I'm sitting right now. I think it's a great call out. Love it. It's perfect. I mean, I, I know how much Chris dislikes Vaporeon. That's sitting at 170. I think it's a better water type than... because people you know have brought that on the episode twice <laughs> to get it up there. Sh I, I, the I love genetics. <laughs> I'm gonna, hey, I'm... I know for a fact that Mike likes that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. I'm, just kidding. Uh, I'm gonna let Ryan <laughs> go, but I think this is. I was thinking this is like a 300s mon, and I could let you get into 200s. The 100s seems high for me. Okay. So many good okay. Pokemon. We, we can go on any side like a 219. That's probably my next like look down. If we want to go fair. lower, yeah. Because that's a little more iconic. It is better than Venusaur. Watermon. Venusaur is too high, but this is better than Venusaur. I agree with that. Yeah. Farfetch. Farfetch and Aerodactyl are Venusaur, both. Venusaur. That way, it just went up. Double its rank exactly. Two twenty nine and two thirty four four to two two two. That's true. Okay, that is cute. Uh, <laughs> two twenty nine and two thirty are top it, twenty Pokemon for me. But then it would get pushed mm. out of two 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 eventually, anyway. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Perfect. Um, though. I love that's, those two. Mm. Farfetch is tight, but it's like Sir Farfetch, like Surfetch. Sure that one's that's, 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 sure that's way higher on the list and way cooler. So it's like these are cool mom that have just been made better. Like I'm not gonna fight for Bisharp anymore because King Gambit exists. Like he's the yeah. most badass version. So that's why I'm like I wouldn't fight for a Farfetched. Hey, well Bisharp would still fight for you, Holden. I want you to remember that. <laughs> <too. laughs> one in my heart. Um, I could go right below Psyduck. Um. I think yeah, Swampert I, is perfect where he is, just to state my opinion. I don't really like Swampert that much, despite the fact that I use one like a billion times because I play that gen so many times and I always pick the water starter, but I just don't think he's that great of a design and he was made way better by Mega Swampert, which is actually a really cool design. True. Um, but Swampert's better than Venusaur, so I'm okay with going to Venusaur. 
they're both cool designs. It's just Mega's even cooler. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I, I, better than Venusaur uh, above Fortress. That's perfectly fine by me. We got it up 200 spots. It's a much more respectable position for Swampert. Mm-hmm. Getting it up into the 220s. I'm very happy. Uh, you'll, I won't complain about it again in the future, Chris. I promise. Make a note. <laughs> All right. When, whenever we come back from our season break. Well, I want a Lapras hat. I wanted to put it on for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice hat, too. Yeah, it's got a cool Lapras on it. That's cute. The real Pokemon fan over here. Wearing a Rayquaza and a Lapras. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up. Chris. Next one. Holden, I know you're going to love this. We got okay, Dragon okay. Bolt. Okay. I mean, he's a ghost dragon and he's got like little fighter jets of Maybe. little baby forms of himself. Like, yeah. it's pretty bad ass. I mean, this, is better than, this is better than Gudra, who just re ranked. Yep. That's what I was oh, yeah. To say. Is this already above him, though? Way better. This is. Way better. Gudra was at like had... 600 something, wasn't it? Oh, no. Dragon Bolt's at 531. It's already, way better. It's already better than that, anyways. This again, I'm I'm looking around that 250 area because this is better than Litten at at 277. I think this is cooler than Swampert. I I'm yeah. good with that too. I'm good with that, I'm that, good with that too. I'm okay with it. Uh, I th- let's see where I would hard stop. I, I like Hydreigon would... more. See, I would hard stop with like Excadrill at 132. Just like more, I'm just closer to that one. But I'm I'm good with in the hundreds, honestly, because you know, Dragon Ball it was very very useful. He's extremely good and competitive, and he just has been a, just a great design, just like continually creative design, like and based off like a little stealth bomber, like very very cool. Oh, uh, so yeah, yeah, I feel like best best design in a while. That's what I thought when I saw like in the generation. I feel like I thought when I saw this, but I really love Zekrom, which is at 181 and is another big Dragon Boy. This feels so much more like a Pokemon than Zekrom, though. To be yeah, fair. yeah, that's fair. Trevenant, is that is that your your boy, Michael? I don't remember. I the love the tree. The Let's go <laughs> and Chandelure. I love this I do love Chandelure too. This I also is miles, love Chandelure. Miles behind Trevenant for me, but <laughs> I'm I'm probably the only voice there. Uh, yeah, that's above Trevenant for me. Probably above Mega Blastoise. <laughs> It, Talent flame Rudo for me, but I'm I'm okay with underneath Chandler just because I love Chandler so much. Uh, I I would put Chandler in like my top thirty, and Dragon Bolt would probably be in, you know, probably thirty five or something if I had to make one. Man, I didn't know we had okay. so many Chandler fans in here. Am I? Right? <laughs> yeah. In this, I got. I mean, I don't care going as a Chandler. Cool. Keep Talent Flame above it. Sounds good to me. You just gotta appreciate them pulling off this design. It's like they asked a child, "What are the three coolest things?" And they said, "Ghost, Dragon, and Stealth Bomber." And then they <laughs> put this in a Pokemon, and it works. Yeah, yeah. no, this one is solid. Yeah, one seventy nine for Dragapult feels really good. Uh, yeah. Dude, it's next nice. up, there if you want to we got a couple back to back cute picks here. I think mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for my cute pick, I've got Cutie Fly. Mm. Yeah, okay. I, I think. I, 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 go I ahead. Mean, have, oh, being a super fan, having listened to every episode, I've heard you talk about Cutie Fly so much. Yeah, uh-huh. and every time you talk about it, I'm just like, I know you used it, but like, you know, like scratch my beard a little bit and be like, mm, what? So go off, King. Tell me, tell me why <laughs> I should hire. This is the Pokemon that made me fall in love with Fairy type. Aww. Uh, I it was a type that I was like hell bent on not really caring about or learning because my brain was pretty decided on not adding anything new to the formula that it's known for its entire life. Um, and I uh, I caught one of these, and I Holden, I agree with you. When I caught this thing, I'm like, what is this bland little bug piece of crap? When I first mm. caught it, and it stayed with me all the way to the Elite Four. I evolved it into the Rabambi, and I get Rabambi's the better version. I'm not trying to say Cutie mm. flies better than Rabambi. Um, Rabombi I used too. Rabombi was fucking legit, dude. It's a Rabombi. This little bee fly just won me over in a way I wasn't expecting. I went from not liking this thing to it being a permanent part of my team that wasn't going to leave. Like this, this was the Pokemon I didn't see coming that won my heart over in a really strong way. And and I get it. It's it's at 750 something right now. I took notes mm-hmm. earlier, but I didn't actually. Yeah, it was <laughs> like 757. 
I don't, I don't we don't need to get this crazy high, but I, I would love to see this at least close to the half, maybe in the top half portion. Where's Rabambi? Uh, see, uh, Ryan, if, okay. if I was the host of God and Kamal and you were my guest bringing on QD5, I would yeah. be like, hey, man, personal anecdote, your love for it, wherever you want, man. I'm, I'm with you. I'll, I'll, I'll back you. Bro, I'm right there with you. I was going to say there's so many things that we're going to scroll past that I love, but the reason I love Pokemon is because of the stories you just told. And that's that's, well, a that's very... what I always say, too. Like the fact that there's a favorite for everyone. Like I always get so annoyed when people are like, why the fuck are they adding cloth gear, the fucking key ring Pokemon to Pokemon Unite? I'm like, you don't understand that every single Pokemon has somebody that it's their favorite fucking Pokemon. So any addition to any of their games is good, arguably. So those are yeah. the best parts about Pokemon. It's like the stories and whatnot. Except for Bruxish. Yeah. <laughs> they created that one so you'd be put on a list if you made it your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> and whoever the fuck made the stupid but Alma Mola and decided it's not an evolution of love discs. Yeah, there were so many like, that were like, this should be an evolution. Bufalant is yep. Yeah. Could have been an email. So yeah, Ryan, name your price. I'm there for you. <laughs> well, uh, like I said, I don't think this gets above Rabambi, who is at 432. I think that's hard ceiling. Um, I kind of like it. Okay, keep going. Sorry. <laughs> and as I scroll through here, like I said, I'd like at least close to half if not in that top half margin somewhere in that mm -hmm. area um i mean i'll get i'll give you frigoraph that, that guy's kind of a monstrosity that probably deserves to be a little lower so i can give you that's 470. okay i'll take it i'll take it i mean for me it's worse than ribombi but it's better than spoink unknown turtwig alolan golem key calyrex so right would be the one that I put right there. That's what I would do is right below Ribombi personally. But oh, below that's Starmie. cute. That's cute. Well, Starmie? Below Starmie. Where's uh, Starmie? Four forty-seven. Oh, I see. Oh. Understandable. Yeah, do you, Chris, do you like just put it next Ryan. to freaking Ryan's other Pokemon? Yeah. yeah. Do you like Snivy or Cutie Fly more? I think I like Cutie Fly more. Yeah. I like I like Cutie yeah. Fly more for sure. Yeah. All right. Put it after Starmie. This is acceptable. Are you, are you, you happy with that, Ryan? Yeah, I am. I, I got like Cutie Fly Starmie, up in the but... top half. <laughs> is it, this isn't my personal list, though. You know, we've got to. This is yep. the. This is the. This is the list. You know, mm -hmm, this isn't mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> the group, the community, the, the people have it. spoken. <laughs> and Cutie Fly is at four forty-eight for my cute pick. I'm so glad because I, that was one that I was like. Eh. <laughs> people cannot yeah. be with me on that one but no. it's just it's it stole my heart and and it helped me love a type that i was not necessarily willing to love at you know first blush because Fair. of nostalgia and history with the series and everything that's so sweet uh, uh all right chris let's go and let's our pokemon. last pick for the night all right let's pokemon already at 104 but it deserves top 100 at the end of this list <laughs> Mm -hmm. at the end of this list which means you have to go up to uh, we gotta go at least 90 90 yeah because there's what 12 well, there's 12 left they're coming. not all gonna be top 100 <laughs> oh, right i i saw we have this to make list. the assumption that they are <laughs> they could be you shared this um with the group and i saw that you were willing to do that and i think i dm drive and i was like what is chris thinking why why would he fight for this guy to go any higher like it's already a blessing that he is 104 right now. Yeah, like, he's he, just freaking legit. This guy is an you icon. Want three, three out of the, he's not an icon. You want three out of the five of he us. He is an to icon. Bless, to bless you know what's so cool okay. about well, Jirisu too, though, is okay. that it's been proven in later points that it's not just this cute little electrical rodent that ends up being really good. Toga Demaru has showed up as a key pick in certain formats too. So it's I'm like, yeah. I like Pachirus to a crap ton. I, <laughs> I've liked it ever since Gen 4, and then obviously the story with the World Championship where everybody's like, why the fuck does he have a patchy Rizu? And then now it's just, yeah, it's an iconic Pokemon in the series for the most part. I remember watching that and got, it was just so hyped. It was like patchy Rizu next to like fucking Tyranitar or some shit against like Rayquaza and something yes. else or some bullshit. The you were like, boy. this looks Jesus. so freaking weird, but this is Follow so cool. me. Come here, little boy. Yeah. Uh, 
but I feel like it's already been a pretty generous list to him. I don't know. Right. I would go 99 mm -hmm. is my Garbodor is my ceiling, but I love Batch Garbodor. Garbodor. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was I was out to start with it. Patch Reese is like a 500 at best for me. Yep. Yeah, big single. At best. For, okay. I, uh, for me, I'd end up putting it next to Emolga personally, but. It's true. We have Emolga at 86. Emolga. And 86. I do like him more than Emolga, but I would go below who, Emolga. Who maybe even below Ampharos, just because I'm pretty sure there's a few people that argue for Ampharos a lot. But oh, Yeah, Ampharos, Ampharos is a fan favorite for sure. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah, I mean, I still like Mimic you more than Pachirisu, but I want to get him into the top 100 for you guys because I mean, nice. he's just gonna get bumped out by the next episode, right? Like, oh, it doesn't see, go above Typhlosion, obviously, because that's a really good one. And then I would say Emolga, I like less, but I know everybody I mean, else is in more of an argument. So, yeah, I mean, it sounds like we're not getting higher than 99, so let's just take 99 and move on. Are the other Pokemon not going Agreed. up there, though? You see, with that attitude, yeah, I guess, you know, it, yeah, that's... <laughs> see, that's, that's the thing, the though. You have to go a few more higher. You have to provide it enough of a cushion. What are the other Pokemon going up? Like, Crobat? <laughs> I can't I mean, know, so. back out. Yeah, I would. I would yeah, I guess, I guess we'll higher, see but... next episode. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. Ninety nine sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I Whenever mean, that I is. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like everyone already knows all the arguments, and like the two people yeah. here are still saying five hundred, despite the fact that he is like he is like an icon. Like uh, Michael Moran, you were just at the like championships, right? And they had like a freaking mm -hmm. banner of Pachi Risu there. They did. Yeah, yeah. he's a real one. <laughs> Also, I then left the next day to go to the Taylor Swift concert. Shockingly different demographics polarized in opposite directions at those two mm -hmm. events. <laughs> no Patchy Risu uh, banners at the Taylor Swift concert? Is that what no, you're saying? No, believe it or not. I, I feel like that was a humble bag, Mike. It's just <laughs> yeah. a weird weekend. It's just a weird... <laughs> just Yeah, I was just picturing the room of, you know, Pokemon fans versus Taylor Swift fans. But I love Pachirisu. I'm not trying to diss him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this is a generous... Like, most people wouldn't put him in their top 10% of Pokemon. I feel like it depends on who you talk to. <laughs> That's fair. I feel like a fair enough majority probably would. But it really look, depends. The real I mean, ones. The real ones would. I mean, exactly, look, the if, real ones. Frauds. If... Genetics had never come on here to rank Pachirisu in the first place. He probably would be like 400s, 500s, because I didn't know about him winning worlds or whatever, any of that stuff. But I think that was a really great episode with a really passionate story. Way better than Ryan's dumb cutie fly story. <laughs> Just kidding, right? <Ryan. laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, it was a well, great story. So I, I agree with you, Chris, but no. also I agree with I liked Ryan's story. No, Ryan's story yeah. is good. I'm They're both the great. Day. And cutie Earth fly. And all. He's and Cutie Fly is way lower than this, so yeah, if yeah. that's your actual belief, then this seems appropriate. I mean, partially Cutie Fly is way lower because Revombi's quite a bit down there. That's why. Yeah. I, yeah. I was about ready to argue for Cutie Fly to go even higher just because I wanted somebody to argue for Pachirisu to go even higher. <laughs> so I was like, no, I, I mean, will compromise. I mean, yeah, uh, sorry, to finish my statement, like 70% of my love for Pachirisu is like that story and genetics is passion and 30% is that Ryan fucking hates it being in the top 100. And I want it. <laughs> I so bad. Exactly. Um, we'll see what we can white do. white fucking squirrel. Just oh. <laughs> Your guy's marriage girl. is so great. <laughs> 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 all right well we'll leave it at 99 and we'll see what happens yeah we will and that is part one of the season finale thank you everybody for joining us while we uh you know refinalize some decisions we've got a bunch of plugs i'm sure for our guests uh genetics anything to plug uh victorian genetics is just my name on everything and i do have stuff actually posted this time but there's going to be more official stuff that's actually posted later. The two things right now are kind of vlog like or whatever, but. Uh, Michael. Uh, I just saw the movie past lives in theaters and I thought it was. Of course neat. you did. I thought it was really, really good. Slow burn build up. Might want yeah. to check it out. Okay. <laughs> Holden. <laughs> 
Hey, uh, everyone in the audio soundscape, I do a little podcast uh, called How to Waste Your Time. Uh, It's a review podcast where me and my best friend review some stuff, uh, different mediums of entertainment. We take a piece of content from each one of nine different mediums, and we uh, say this is how we wasted our time in the past month and help you waste your time better. Uh, Upcoming next month is going to be our uh, three-year anniversary. Um, and it, that means that we're going to get a bunch of, uh, recommends from the community and we're just going to consume the stuff they want us to. And what do you know? I have four more, um, categories that need to be filled. And I got four other people in this podcast, so I might just corner them all um, and make some, make some bribes and make some corner um, me, Holdy. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> offer, offer some rankings up and get them to, to recommend me some stuff so that we can watch it. So chances are, if you like any of the people on this podcast, if you listen to How Waste Your Time for our three-year anniversary, you might find something that they recommended us to watch. So give it a listen. Heck yeah. Uh, Chris, do we have anything to plug? Yeah, I guess follow on Twitch at twitch.tv slash friendlyfirepod. We stream uh, Wasted there still every Friday or Saturday. Well, most every Friday or Saturday. And then um, you're not doing Kingdom Hearts there anymore, right? You're doing it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah we're it's on YouTube. YouTube. That's what I was just about to say. I uh, see it every week when it lately. pops up. I know I'm about to try and just do like Kick or YouTube instead because Twitch is just such a dumpster fire on all their sometimes. policies and stuff, dude. Yeah, which is going crazy. And that apparently, said, follow us on Twitch, please. Well, I'll just wait till between the episodes to say <laughs> it. But. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm partway through Dream Drop Distance. Boy, that certainly is a video game. Uh, <laughs> That's the game of all time. A game. So and yeah, especially wanna... like the part where Ventus was like, "It's Ventus time." I <laughs> I love the part where they just pull you away from the character you're playing as when there's like half and then go play are left character. on an enemy to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's great. I love it. If it's you want to so watch weird. me slowly unravel in my own sanity, come check out the stream. <laughs> uh, but thank you, everybody, for joining us while we continue finalizing the most important decisions of our lives. We hope you are well until we reconvene in two weeks. And remember, gotta rank them all. Gotta rank them all. Pokemon. Okay,